Yeah, uh, hi guys, I'm Mr. Kong and today we are looking at uh, A2 Chapter 5 Coordination Subtopic Synapse. Uh, okay? Now, earlier we have seen things like action potential, uh, resting potential, okay? uh, how's the transmission and characteristics of uh, neuron as well as the impulse itself. Uh. So, so uh, make sure you know the earlier part because the earlier part does affect what we are learning now as well. All right. Okay. So uh, straight to the point. Uh. Okay. Straight to the point. We are looking at synapse. Okay. And in this particular subtopic, we will be see will be will be seeing something called neurotransmitter. Okay. It is. Uh, the, the neurotransmitter that is involved in synapse is called acetylcholine. Even in exam, in A2, you can actually write ACH, no problem. In the marking scheme, they do accept this, huh? alright? But first, in my notes, I kept it to the full name. I kept it to the full name. You can definitely use this in the uh, A2 exam, huh? okay? Now, Okay, first of all, uh, this is called the, the just to go through the structures very quickly uh, of a neuron. Uh, this is called the cell body, uh, dendrite, axon, axon terminal. Okay, now the purpose of the purpose of going through this is because we are doing synapse. Synapse involve the junction of whereby X, one neuron join to another neuron. That's why I have to go through the structure. Huh? So just get to know axon terminal and dendrite. Yeah? Uh, things like myelin sheath and node of Ranvier I won't be going through again. Huh? Okay, this is a synapse. Huh? The locus, the site or the junction. Locus, junction or site between two neurons where the impulse pass through, where the nerve impulse is, uh, it passes through. Uh. Okay, uh, this one, uh. so all these are, sorry, this, uh, uh, all these are the synapses, all these are the synapses. They actually do not touch, I'll show you later. Uh. So, Oh yeah, you can see the axon terminal, the axon terminal links to the dendrite of another neuron, but like I said, they do not actually touch. Okay? That's what we call a synaptic cleft, a spacer uh, between them. Uh. Okay, a very quick one. Uh, guys, this is called the synaptic knob. It's like your doorknob. It's like your doorknob. Uh. So this is called the synaptic knob. If you have done in your college, uh, your university, you would have known this is a synaptic vesicle whereby it contains neurotransmitters. And earlier I mentioned the neurotransmitter involved in synapse must be must be acetylcholine. Okay. Uh, actually there are two lah, but 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 in this case we are looking at one only. The other one is called uh, no adrenaline. Yeah. Okay, uh, synaptic cleft is the space between the space between the the terminal knob and uh, dendrite of the next neuron. Eh? Okay, the membrane. Okay, if let's say this is the synaptic cleft, the membrane before the cleft is called pre. Pre means before. Pre means before. It's like uh, pre u, pre u, uh, is like pre u. After that, you enter degree. Then whatever other courses you are taking after degree, the next level is called post, post degree, post degree. Okay, uh, things like masters and PhD and so on. Uh. Okay, so now the purpose of telling you this is because okay. If this is pre-synaptic membrane, obviously after the cleft. If something pre is before, post is after. So this is 
the postsynaptic membrane. Okay. Yeah, on the on the membrane, on the membrane of the next neuron, on the membrane of the next neuron, uh, or you can say straight away on the postsynaptic membrane, there are receptors for the neurotransmitter to bind. All right. Okay guys, so all these are the structures that you have to know. Of course, one last thing, this will be mitochondria. So we'll be using all these structures uh, in the process. Okay, now we are looking at this uh, impulse transmission across the synapse. Uh. This one can come out in assay. For instance, uh, this one come out, let's say, six marks in exam in A2. Uh, how would you describe it? All right. So this is an impulse, it has to cross the synapse in order to reach the next neuron. So our job is to study what actually happens here in, in uh, A2 chapter 5. Huh? Okay, enlarge. Now, first point, first point, huh? impulse arrives, impulse arrives, or you can see action potential. Also can uh, this causes the polarization of the presynaptic membrane. Okay, the polarization occurs, calcium ion enters the presynaptic membrane. Okay. Again, uh, uh, let's start from scratch. Uh. So first point, impulse arrive at synaptic knob. Second point. Depolarization occurs whereby this causes the membrane to be permeable to calcium ions, meaning calcium ions will move in. Okay, next. Synaptic vesicles will move towards presynaptic membrane and rupture. Rupture means burst, open up. Vesicles or rupture, releasing the neurotransmitters. What are these neurotransmitters? In this case, we are using acetylcholine. Eh? Neurotransmitter acetylcholine will move across synaptic cleft and attach to the receptors and attach to the receptors on post synaptic membrane. Now, this causes the postsynaptic membrane to be permeable to sodium ions, common sense. Now, sodium ions will enter and depolarization occurs. Initially, outside pause, positive, inside negative. Now, because more positive ions move in, inside more positive than outside. So, this is what we call depolarization. Eh? Uh, then, yeah, if there's a threshold, action potential, if it overcomes the threshold, action potential is generated. And this will move along the next uh, neuron. Eh? Okay, now I'll go through one more round, then I'll finish up the whole thing. Eh? Because I think there are about 10 points uh, basically for synapse. Eh? Okay, uh, first point, impulse arrive. Okay, uh, then the polarization occurs. Membrane becomes permeable to calcium ions. Calcium ions enter. Synaptic vesicles move towards presynaptic membrane. They will rupture, thereby releasing neurotransmitters. So guys, acetylcholine will move across the synaptic cleft and bind to the receptors. Bind to the receptors. Okay, postsynaptic membrane becomes permeable to sodium ions. Therefore, sodium ion enters. Depolarization occurs again. Now, 
uh, action potential is generated and we'll move along the next move along the next neuron okay okay now uh, let's move on uh. Uh, there's something called acetylcholine sterase acetylcholine sterase whereby this will help to break down acetylcholine this will help to break down acetylcholine into acetate as well as choline this breakdown acetylcholine into these two acetate and choline so uh, another function of this would be to help with the uptake of the uh, we call it choline uptake of the choline so that so that uh, vesicles can be formed and the neurotransmitters are formed again okay neurotransmitters acetylcholine is formed again eh? all right uh, this is not really an important point but this is called repolarization eh? and one last point to mention is guys in exam they can ask you function of mitochondria function of mitochondria your answer is very standard mitochondria produces energy then this helps to okay there are a few answers uh, uh one of it is to help transmission of the impulse across okay another one is to help choline sterase to break down the ac acetylcholine ACH, uh, acetylcholine and it also helps uh, it also helps to form the vesicles again. It also helps to form the vesicles again. Alright? Yeah, uh, if you have my notes, please go through... Oh, I don't have it here. I think it's page 12 or 13, around there, page 12 or 13. Uh. I don't actually have my book now. Yeah, if you have my notes, please go through, I think, page 12 or 13. Uh. Alright? Okay, um, if you... If you uh, if you have familiarized with the uh, processor, you can try the questions which I'll upload on another video. Okay, alright, thank you. Cheers.